I'm really having a hard time seeing here. Oh, things are moving on my phone. So maybe we are getting somewhere. Maybe it's just my, um, maybe it's just my, uh, my laptop. Oh, it is putting off some heat. Let me tell you. So, what should we do today? The drone? Or... Or this? Which is actually... This big! <laughs> Plants time! I hope this is not going to be a problem. I decided to do it a different way so that you all would. Okay, we're going to have to move back. We're going to have to move back. This not liking it. It's not connecting. So we're back over this way. So, can, can you give me a... Um, Oh, Shari, oh my goodness, everybody say hello to Shari, please welcome her to the, she is a lifelong friend of mine, and I'm sorry that you have to look at the, the stuff behind, it will eventually get sorted out, let me see if I can move this chair over this way, Ooh. Excuse me while I smash everything. Oh. Okay. So. There we go. Now isn't that odd? We're closer to the Wi-Fi thing. The other way around and it didn't like it. So we're back in this area. Let me cut my glasses. <clears throat> Actually, this might work. No, <laughs> Only a few odd times. Oh. Okay, people. Oh, yes! I'm so excited. I am so excited. I can hardly hide it. La, 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 la. Hello, everyone. It is absolutely wonderful. Jeanette Pickering. Hi, sweetie. It's so good to see you. And I'm sorry if I miss anybody. I'm still a little bit out of breath. Nerdette of the North. Hi, honey. Thank you for coming in. Marie Kaplan, hi sweetie. Ah, Jay Cox, paranormal. Hi, honey, how are you? Yes, I'm about ready to give the Wi-Fi a big, big slap. Gray one, one zero seven. Everybody, I have to tell you, I would not even have got the um the drone off the ground. If it hadn't been for the help of Grey1107. So, okay, Metal Girl Forever. Hi, sweetie. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Everybody, please welcome each other. Um, Caroline want to be free. Hi, sweetie. It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Caroline, if you everybody keep her in your prayers, because she is going to get... Some of these high winds from the um, from the uh, tornado. So, and she lives in a trailer. 
So hopefully everything is going to be okay. Caroline, you're almost at 1K. Yes! Caroline has been coming out of her shell and she started doing live streams. And she's doing wonderful at them. Now she hasn't shown her face yet. That's going to happen. I think when she comes to 1K, right, Caroline, if I'm correct? Valerie, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. It's so good to see you. Good afternoon. I hope everybody's been having a wonderful day. I've been kind of lazy today. Um, have I missed anybody? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Cheers to healing. Yes, whoop, whoop, whoop. Welcome back, Texas Life. Julie, welcome, honey. Thank you so much for stopping in. It is so good to see you. How are you? I know you've been going through a lot. Um... Oh, Natasha Flowers. Hi, sweetie. It is so good to see you. Thank you ever so much for coming in. Thank you so much, sweetie. So, Caroline123 says, as long as the wind does not blow the roof off, she should be okay. Well, hopefully it won't. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully you will be safe. Oh, my gosh. And Metal Girl Forever is almost at 1K too. She does vlogs, videos that help people with depression and self-harm and many other things. So please go check her out. Caroline Want To Be Free is also going through. She deals with a lot of anxiety. And she is doing amazing work in her way through that and getting over that. Um, I'm really so proud of her. I am. I am just... Yes, I really am. I really am proud of her. She's really done a wonderful job. So please check each other out and support each other. And don't be afraid to do that. Just don't ask for it back. That is one key thing. You will find that you will get more supporters if you don't ask for it back. People will be more than happy to support you normally on their own. How has my day been, RJ Cox? Kind of a lazy day. I really haven't done too much today, but I have been, you know, going through the channels. I've been watching the news on the on the hurricane. I've been um, going to channels and, and, you know, seeing if there's anybody that needs any help um, that I could you know, possibly help with. There's not much that I can do. Um, oh, thank you ever so much, Metal Girl Forever. You are so sweet. You're so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's, it, it, awareness is something that we really have to do in, in just about everything. TJ Explores! Hi, honey! It is so good to see you! Everybody, please welcome TJ Explores. And guess what? It just so happens. What a coincidence. That's who this comes from. <laughs> Margie Yeomans. Hi, sweetie. It is a wonderful surprise. Look, I've got a big surprise. A big one. Woohoo. <laughs> so... I was going to go out and and try with the drone again. I was going to go in the back garden. Oh, mucker! Oh, mucker, say stand by ready for anyone who needs help with a computer. <laughs> oh, my gosh, oh, mucker. One of these days you're going to get yourself in trouble with that one. Oh, my God. Oh, the story behind that is absolutely hilarious. And it's not his fault. It was my fault. I, I should have taken notice of something and... But yeah, when Old Mucker starts telling you, do it, do it, do it, do it, don't do it. If you say you, you sure and he goes, do it, do it, do it, do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Because you just never know what might happen. But it's okay. Everything worked out okay. So, oh, thank you. And now, Caroline want to be free. Um, I will say this. I know a lot of people are going to be needing help. Um, with um, donations and what have you, um, 
um, you know, after this hurricane has been through, because, um, you know, apparently it's going to be very devastating, although it's down to a Category 2. Caroline Want to Be Free has a cat who needs um, oral surgery. Um, it's a degenerative lesions in his mouth. What happens is the teeth absorb and he needs a couple of them removed. He is um, been, he's been on antibiotics a few times. He's eating. Um, he's eating, what is he eating? Soft foods. And um, let me see. I have a video. Let me find the video. I have a video about it. Oh, no, that's the wrong one, June. Sorry, I'm trying to look around my, um, my, uh, you, that, that's the one. Um, Natasha Flower says, my daughter has COPD. She was born with a diaphragmic hernia and her lungs didn't develop properly. Oh, bless her heart. I am so sorry. I know it is so hard. Um... Have they been able to fix the diaphragmic hernia? I oh, know. Um, Natasha Flowers, what we'll do is at the end. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, no, that's the wrong thing. Well, maybe it's not the wrong thing. Um, oh, I'm just going to have to move you. Yeah. It's old. Well, uh, on a C E C M. Okay, good. Um, how old is your daughter now, Natasha? Oh, metal girl flowers. That is so sweet. Metal Girl Forever, I mean, that is so sweet. Metal Girl Forever says, if anyone needs help, please give her a message. Love and support. Hashtag love and support. You are so sweet. Um, Caroline Want to Be Free said, once the hurricane passes, and she's saying this because she doesn't want to put anybody up. If, you know, she doesn't want to give... Um, she, she doesn't want to say that she has a place for people because she doesn't know it, what the winds are going to do to her trailer. So she is, you know, once she knows what's going to happen to the trailer, if it is safe, Caroline Want to Be Free is offering room for anyone that might need somewhere to stay after the hurricane. Um, and she is also pet friendly. So, now Caroline Want to Be Free has a cat called Simon. And this is the video to, about Simon. Um, I need to catch up here. Um, <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, Marco says I should have learned years ago <laughs> saying do it, do it, do it. Can get me locked up many times. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do cool so much. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Natasha Flower says her daughter is doing great. That is wonderful. Now I can at the um once this video is uploaded, I can post some links um, to um, a, a pulmonary rehabilitation specialist. Uh, he is absolutely great. She is nearly five now, and she's doing so good. Oh, that is so wonderful. Yes! Give her a huge hug from me, please, Natasha Flowers, and tell her, She's a very brave girl that works very hard. 
Oh my gosh, thank you ever so much, Metal Girl Flowers Forever. Metal Girl Forever, I keep calling you flowers. Why? I'm going to have to... Yeah. Metal Girl Flowers, I'm going to put your, put your um, tab up there. I'm going to search out, girl. Because there must be a reason I'm call, I keep call, wanting to call you flowers. And it, it's not because... I, 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 I can't do two things at once anymore. Well, I can, sort of. Depends on what the two things are that I'm trying to do. So, Mariah! Oh, my gosh, Mariah, honey! It is so good to see you. Everybody, please welcome Mariah, the con concrete kid. Her videos are absolutely hilarious. This girl is one of the girls that I really want to go, really would love to meet one of these days. So please go check her out. She's uh, she has her editing is absolutely amazing, and and she is hilarious. She's so funny. Um. So please, everyone, check her out. Valerie, oh Valerie, you are sweetie. Thank you ever so much. You are so. You know, everybody is so kind, and I, I am so, ah, I got top chat on. <gasps> Sorry if I've missed anybody's comments, because I had top chat on instead of live chat. <coughs> Bad girl, June. So, okay. So, I will repeat two things. Um, here, um... Caroline Want to Be Free has a cat called Simon who needs dental surgery quite badly. Um, it's, if I'm correct in remembering, it's $375. And um, Simon and, and she has two cats and they are both rescues that, she, that she's looking after. And then she's struggling, you know, to, for the funds, for the oral surgery so um, if you can go to the video that I just posted a link for in the description there is the dentist name and phone number and Simon's name and I think if I remember and I'm trying to do this from memory because I'm not looking at the video right now it is not a better look at the mobile. Better look at the video, June. It'll be easier. Okay. Here you go. Why don't you just copy and paste that? A good idea. Well, it would help if I could find paste. Oops. Oh man. Just excuse me while I move you all over a minute. Sherry V. Hi, honey. It is so good to see you, sweetie. How are you? Okay. I'm going to move your music on me. Okay. That's the veterinary office. And, and Simon's case number. Um, now I know there's going to be people, other people in need too after the um, uh, Metal Girl Forever says, My mom has suffered from cervical cancer as she may have it in her lungs yet. Well, we will keep sending her prayers, healing energy, positive energy, we don't need to know your mom's name. We don't need to know where she lives because the collective universe knows your intention, knows people's intention, and knows where it needs to go and who they're thinking about. So let's do that. I am doing good. Thank you so much, Sherry. I am doing really well. I was going to go out. Oh, well, the drum's not behind me now, but it was behind me. It was over this shoulder. I was going to go out. <laughs> Caroline says, can we see the gift? She's, 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 I was going to go fly the drone, but then this came. 
in the mail. So, I guess I won't be flying the drone because it now looks like it's starting to get windy. We're in Kansas, by the way, so we're not anywhere near the coast. So, um, thank you, old mucker. Old mucker says, smash that like button, boys and girls. So, um, TJ Explores, are you still with us? I'm, I'm trying to see if, if TJ Explores is still with us. She was here with us a moment ago. Um, she just got home from the hospital. Um, she does have heart failure. So she has been not having such a good time right now. So I want to make sure that she's in the room before I open the present. At the present! <laughs> the present and the present! Yes! Oh, both of you! Oh, my goodness, you're both there! Yes! Hi, Chad! Okay, so... I'm gonna open it! <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. I need to do something first. I need something first. I forgot. I forgot a crucial thing. Now you all know me. I'm a big baby. Grace! Hi, sweetie. It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Gloop squeezies. Yeah, yes. Ha <laughs> ha, Margie. TJ Explosive. says she's closing her eyes. Of course, we know I need these. You know, I'm a, I'm a big baby. So, okay. Okay, Mariah, you take care, honey. I love you, sweetie, and we'll catch up soon. Um, it's been a while since we've had a chat, so we need to chat, girl. I'm trying to catch up with people. My Christmas mug, because it's Christmas every day. Yes, see, proof. It's Christmas every day. <laughs> yes, we do need phone time, Mariah. Yes, we do, honey. Okay. <laughs> I'm wiggling my legs like a kid. <laughs> okay. Get it in the thingy. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! The coffee cup. Is in right reminding me I need to get my tree stand set up overlooking the house so I can bag Santa and his reindeer. Oh my gosh, yeah, your tree stand. Oh my gosh, Grizz, that is so funny. He's gonna be up, Grizz is gonna be the one that stole Christmas. Let me put that there. Oh my goodness, maybe I might not cry at this. Yes, exactly, Caroline. You know that. We know that together. Always let your inner child out. Woo woo. Yes. Okay. You, you, you. That that's okay, RJ. That's okay. I haven't taken anything out yet. I I haven't haven't taken anything out yet. Oh. Let let me know. Let me know. Let me know if I'm clear. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
<laughs> TJ Explorer says, please let the doorbell ring. Yep. Because apparently there's a big something coming from TJ Explorers too. This is not the... This is just the beginning of it. There's a, a, a box coming, apparently. What's in the bag? You want to know what's in the bag? Oh, oh I can't do it. Oh, my gosh, some of my favourites. You know I'm going to have to... Okay, let me show you. Maltesers! <laughs> now, these are not like the American Maltesers. These are the... These are the British Maltesers, and they they taste different. These are these are one of my <laughs> jingle bells. <laughs> Eight oh two vids. Hey hey, sweetie, thank you for coming. Look what I got. Oh my gosh, it was a big bag. I was going to actually fly the drone, and then this came. And, and now it's getting over cloudy and, and starting to get windy. So I won't be flying the drone. So Maltesers. One of my favourites. Oh. oh my gosh. Unless you're British, you really don't know this. But chocolate flavoured angel delight. Oh my gosh. You, you put milk in it and you whip it up. It's kind of similar to chocolate pudding, but it's not chocolate pudding. It's better than that. It's much better than that. Oh. Oh, oh. Bob and cream biscuits. I think actually, I think actually I might open these feels a little bit crummy but that's okay because what I'll do is I'll open it up this end where it's not crummy because you know that you, you know what I'll do don't you you know I'll, I'm going to be saving those crumbs I'm going to eat those crumbs anyway but I'm going to be ladylike and I'm going to do it this way ah oh, come on well I'm going to try and be ladylike and you love angel delight yeah me too me too. Angel Delight is really good. These are these are these are biscuits. Not what you Americans call but not what you you Americans oh my gosh, that sounds awful, doesn't it? Not what Americans call biscuits. It's what we call biscuits over in the UK. You call them cookies. In the in the in the United States. Or I should say they are called cookies in the United States. Oh, well, these these are a, oh, the brick apart. I'm sorry, but they're good. Um, I would like to try and give you all a try. Oh, luckily it's just the front. It's just the front bit. It's just the front ones. But look, see, it's a cookie on each side. And, it, and it's got a chocolate filling in the middle. Oh, man, is it good. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so good. <laughs> I can't tell you how long it is since I've tasted these. Oh, my God. I'm in heaven. Not a uh, Carol, I want to be free, says, I am so close to 1K, I can taste this biscuits. <laughs> Here you come. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Oh. Let me put it up there. <laughs> Me or cheese? Never. Never, Margie, never. Just always. <laughs> no, it's true. They really don't know what real biscuits are. <laughs> that is so 
funny. That is so funny. Oh my god, um, no, Grace says we don't we don't pick our biscuits up out of the horse pasture. Oh bounty. Now this is the chocolate with the, the um with the coconut in it. Oh this is one of my favourites too. <laughs> I'm like, oh my oh, Kit Kat. Yes, Kit Kat. Now I know you have Kit Kats over in the U in the, in the US, over here, but they're not the same because they don't have the same chocolate. The chocolate is different. The bounty doesn't taste like it. Well, you know, unfortunately, that happens. Um. Things to <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm gonna laugh and cry at the same time. Oh TJ TJ Sign language, she is absolutely an amazing young lady. So, 
Some please go check her out. Her out. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you ever so much, honey. It is good for the lungs to laugh. It really is. Margie and I, when we get on the phone, we start laughing together, and then we end up we end up coughing. So. <laughs> TJ explosives times are hard, yeah. They're, they're small chips, that's for sure. <laughs> Little chips. Fish and chips. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can tell you now I'm going to be finishing that packet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my Yorkshire tea, real tea, real tea. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be. Oh my gosh, mm, it's so lovely. Thank you ever so much. Oh, it's all full of candy. Look at this angel delight. It's strawberry flavor. Oh yep. Well, you know, Metal Girl Forever. They they have to. I mean, they have. Uh, sorry, I dropped the crumb on my dress. They have um tea over here in the states, but it's um it's um. How can I put it? Weak. It, it's a weak tea. It's not, um, it's not flavorful. It looks like water, colored water. Let's put it that way. Gomez Adams. Hi, sweetie. It's good to see you. Everybody, please welcome Gomez Adams. <coughs> so, so I got, I got some. Yeah, it's rank. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. That's one way of putting it. So I've got I've got um, Angel Delight strawberry flavor. Oh. Jelly tops. Oh my gosh, I love jelly tots. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jelly tots and and they're not soft like the the um the jelly things that they have over here. They're firmer. And that's one thing I like about them. I don't like those soft jelly things that they have over here. So <coughs> <laughs> Mars bars, yes! And again, I know we have Mars bars over here in the States. All right, then, Caroline, want to be free? Come back and let us know that everything's going to be okay, please. <laughs> Valerie says, did they put the whole bag in that store? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they tried. <laughs> Jewish Redneck Preppers. Hi, honey. How are you? It is so good to see you. Everybody, please welcome Jewish Redneck Preppers. My TV's making noises. I thought it was about to fall off the wall. Um, my husband put it up there. No, 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 no. Um, please welcome Jewish Red Preppers. Go check his channel out. He has some very interesting things. So, yeah, yeah. These, these are different. These don't play. Yep, exactly. A Mars a day helps you work, rest and play. And I have a feeling these are going to be gone in one day. Mm -mm -mm. Now, they're not the same as the Mars over here. They don't taste the same because the, the chocolate is completely different. Um, oh, another bounty. Yes! <sighs> I'm 
I've got a bounty. I've got big bounties. Lots of bounties. Michelle Nugent. Hi, sweetie. How are you? It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, your Wi-Fi is terrible right now. I'm so sorry, honey. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up with us later. Uh, I hope you're doing well, sweetie. And take care. <laughs> Valerie says, I'll see you later. I'm going to eat some good old beans and cornbread for supper. Well, you know what I'll be eating? Fish and chips. <laughs> I'll be drinking fish and chips. Oh, gosh. Okay, Grace says if somebody sends you veg, you might say no. Well, we have something over in the UK similar to it called Marmite. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm used to that flavor, so it, it really doesn't bother me. But enjoy your dinner, Valerie, honey. Oh, the phone. Hello. No, not answering it. My, my, my whole, my, I, don't, I don't answer it because it's never for me anyway, so. Um. Metal Girl Forever says I'm going to record a video tomorrow on COPD. Oh, thank you. She says you are an inspiration, June. Thank you ever so much. She says she can't. Oh, oh, thank you, honey. Thank you ever so much. Metal Girl Forever. That is so sweet. Oh, yeah, fish and chips. Sherry K. <laughs> Sherry K. This is from TJ Explores. And, and we were talking um, over the phone, and, and she said to me, what do you really miss from the UK? So I said to her, fish, fish and chips. <laughs> I said, fish and chips. <laughs> so she sent me fish and chips, and it's a newspaper, look. <laughs> just, just... <laughs> Oh God! Here, yeah, TJ explosives. If we can time the package right, we can have fish and chips every Tuesday. <laughs> so, Sherry Kay, let me show you. In it, <laughs> there are fish and chips. Look, <laughs> with salt and vinegar. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, so I got my fish and chips now. <laughs> Sorry. They're so good. Mm. When I first saw it in the packet, I, I was laughing and crying at the same time. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Metal Girl Forever says, where's my fish and chips? <laughs> You know, I've been mine. I'm keeping mine. <clears throat> Whatever. And another Kit Kat. Mm -mm -mm. So, I have two Kit Kats. I have a bag of Maltesers, a big bag of Maltesers. I have two Bounties and I have two Mars Bars. I have two Angel Delights, one chocolate and one strawberry. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I have Jelly Tots. I love these. And I have some good old Yorkshire Tea. All the way from the UK, not the Yorkshire tea that you buy here in the in the um, in the stores over here. And I got some cream bourbon biscuits, which are really good. They'll be gone in a day. Well, maybe not really. And then, and then, oh, wait. I save these to the last. 
love heart. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much, TJ. And oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm I'm just. Oh my gosh. Bye. Hi, honey. Thank you for coming in. It's so good to see you. JD. Thank you for coming in. It's so good to see you. <clears throat> oh, Sherry says I have her whole restaurant laughing. They are cracking up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Everybody's are you, your restaurant's watching me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and TJ Explore says, and this was a, the small one. I said, you know, I, I, I um. Oh my gosh, I am. Um... Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can't <kidding> me now. <laughs> you know uh, yeah good thing to show a bunch of chef fish and chips in a bag oh my gosh yes oh my gosh yes I hope I haven't missed anybody coming in oh my gosh I am just like I, I, I am just I am just um, Kelly T fishing and more hi sweetie she said, "Fish and chips. I'll never look at them the same again." Yeah, I know. I'm so. I'm. 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 I'm just. I'm just. I'm beside myself. I really am. I really am. I, <laughs> Sherry K has, has put me on. <laughs> Sherry K has put me on her. <laughs> she's put me on her restaurant TV. I'm like, <laughs> kidding me. It's a good thing I'm not in my peer, isn't it? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, Pia. Oh. She's going back to living in her van with her dog and now licorice. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Paya. I know it's hard, especially when a bit you've had it's two months is a long time, and you get attached very easily. I'm so sorry, honey. Mm. But oh my goodness, so I I hope you all know. Oh, thank you ever so much, Metal Girl Forever. That is so kind of you. It's so sweet of you. So I, I, I don't know if you have all seen. I, I, I was going to fly the drone today, but then, <clears throat> then this this huge bag appeared. You see how big this bag is? This huge bag. I mean, it, you know, it come. It's huge. So I decided rather than fly the drone, thank you, JD, rather than fly the drone, I would open up the bag. Because I know it, it's from TJ Explores, and everybody please go and check out TJ Explores. Um, you all, you, they have some very amazing um, videos of, of exploring abandoned buildings over in the UK and, and some of them really catch your heart 
um, because they're not like other explorers where they just walk through it and not have you that if they find history on it they'll let you know any history on it um, but they go it's more personal the way they do it it's more personal they try and show you more of the um, the contents the the the, the the knickknacks, the the memories that are left behind, rather than just kind of like zooming over those, they try to show you as best as they can things like that. <coughs> so it's really amazing. But um, um, and Grace says, JD, I'm trying to do a good job on the next video editing. If it turns out, I think you will keep. I think you will like the part where I eat some habaneros. And the rush to the outhouse. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. Oh, Grace, that is hilarious. I hope it works out the way that you want it. No, TJ, it was my pleasure. Thank you ever so much. I am just absolutely spoiled. Um, I, I really am. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, Paya. Paya, you know, takes in lost cats. And she's looking for a kitten, really, right now. Um, so she, she might wait until next spring. Um, <clears throat> she has one that comes by, Mickey, he's a stray, he still goes by and eats. Uh, she had taken, I had taken one in just two months ago, but, yeah, it's, the, the owner found, the, the owner, they found each other, so the, the cat now is going back to the owner. So, it, it's a tough time. Cheers to healing. How long have I been in this? Story, good evening, honey. Hello, it's so good to see you. How are you? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Please welcome Story of Dory. Um, Dory actually is the dog. Um, they have been, that family has been, and still going through a lot, so please show them your love. Um, and we are waiting for Grizz's, Grizz is going to be putting out a new video that he's editing. And he says, let's put it this way, when I was in the outhouse, my wife laced a popsicle with tobacco. Tabasco sauce, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is terrible book, Riz. Oh, Pia, that's, you're so sweet. No, th oh, you're a sweetheart too, Pia. Thank you ever so much. And Pia, I, I love all your messages. Um, I have often meant to respond to them. I've actually left the video up and then I've fallen asleep and my computer shut down and I got distracted and didn't get back to it. So, yeah, not a great day, say story of the Dory, but he's still breathing. So there is that. And yes, yes. There is that. So, so story of Dory. Would you like to see my fish and chips from the UK? They came all the way over from the UK. Um, my friend TJ, <coughs> TJ Explores, asked me what I missed the most. She sent me a package. And she said, what do you miss the most? So I said, oh, fish and chips. Jokingly, I said fish and chips with salt and vinegar. So, as I'm going through the package, what do I find? Now, over in the UK, 
fish and chips come wrapped in newspaper. So what do I find in the package? Fish and chips with salt and vinegar and it's wrapped in newspaper. <laughs> Peter Bowes. Hi honey, it's so good to see you. And let me show you this. Of course you know I'm only showing you this because I'm going to be eating these. Um, but yeah. Let me, let me show you this. I'm trying to... Come on, June. There we go. Look what she... Look what I got. Fish and chips. It's <laughs> a salt vinegar flavour. Look at fish and chips. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I have to eat them. But, oh... Um, the flavour really is like, um, <clears throat> uh, Diablo, Mike, Cal, John, Sandy, Meg, Suso, Michael, JJ, Don, and Louise. Hugs to you. Lots of love and thank you ever so much. For, for, for your blessing. Thank you so much. And thank you for the wonderful work that you do. I used to do restaurant work too. So I know it's not easy. It's very hard. So yeah. Oh you have a good night too. Gomez Adams. You take care honey. I love you. So yep. Here are the fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> which is absolutely amazing it's just so wonderful yep TJ says I never checked what's in the newspaper on the front oh, okay let me see I might need my magnifier for this um it says holy mackerel what a catch a man will catch Will Catchem has recorded the biggest ever mackerel haul in fish in fishery. You know, fish history, fishery. Um, he hooked his mega fish while on a trip with his son. He said, "I was, it was, uh, it was a quiet fishing day at sea." Then suddenly, I felt my rod spin out of control. I thought, holy mackerel! It completely caught me by surprise. And then, unfortunately, the fish and chips go over the top of it. So, I can't read the rest of it, but it was a good story. Um, let's see, what's at the bottom? Missing lost shark, no fin to resort. <laughs> Missing lost shark, no fin to resort. A local aquarium uh, is looking for a lost shark. Um, somebody was shocked. Uh, I can't read it because the fish and chips is in the way. It is thought to be, it is thought he escaped when he was being transferred to the exercise tank. Uh, hearing the news, a man said, we all have, we have all be." Oh, bulleting it over, oh, bulleting it over for the love of, and I can't read the rest of it because there's fish and chips all over it. <clears throat> but, oh my gosh, these stories, I just wish, I just wish the fish and chips weren't all over the stories. They would be pretty funny if we could finish them. Okay. Let me see what the next headline is. Uh, 
a fisherman um, had a fight. Fisherman something fight. There's salt something or other with the vinegar. There's much excitement on the high seas today as the salt trawler collided with a vinegar shipment resulting in fish I can't read but fish and chips and, and salt and vinegar mixed. The captain the captain's off the vessel. Star chip. The vessel was Starship. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, you are so right. <laughs> Margie says, remember, you are walking. Be careful of those indulgences and more to walk off. Oh, my gosh, you're so right. So, I'm sure a lot of you know, but I'm going to say it again. On the 22nd. They really are good. They really do taste good. On the 22nd of September, I am going to be doing a walk. I'm going to be walking along Leavenworth Riverfront. The Leavenworth Riverfront Walk. Um, and you can Google that if you want to see it. It's a mile and something long. So, I'm going to be walking that the first six minutes. I'm going to do as much of the first six minutes without oxygen because when you go for to be checked for your first testing, um, they have you walk six minutes and they take your oxygen off you. Now, if you need the oxygen back on, that's fine. So if I need it, if I start struggling, I'll put the oxygen back on. So then i'll continue walking and i'll walk as much as i can without the use of the walker or the portable ventilator but it will be beside me um so it'll be there as soon as i need it because my husband will be walking by the side of me so that that will be on september the 22nd and i will live stream it see New referrals are going out soon, and I have to show that I am doing everything possible to show that I'm helping myself and that my life is worth saving. So it will be live streamed, so if you want to watch um, and join us on the live stream, again, that will be on September the 22nd. I'll probably start the live stream between 12 and 12 30 and then we will continue on from there we will be going there by we'll be getting there by car so the live stream will either be starting in my house before we leave or in the car as we're going there one or the other but it'll be starting between 12 and 1 so um And I will be doing more things like that as time goes on um, because I have to stay as active as possible um, and keep my strength up. Um, thank you for the story of Dory. Thank you, Sherry Kay. Um, Sherry Kay, maybe you can bring him, you know, put it on your, your restaurant TV. I'll, and I'll, I'll wave at everybody. I'll say, hi. How are you? So, um, and there might be a, 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 um, some YouTubers um, might be coming to join me. We'll have to see. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And this is a walk that I'm doing by myself. There is no, nobody, you know, there's no other, a load of other people. So, anyway. And Grace says, I'm going to let the, let the dough bite the, uh, bet that forked horn. <laughs> oh my gosh, Grace. Oh, you're nuts. <laughs> Everybody, Grace has some, some, um, some, has, 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 um, yeah, he, he has a, an off the wall sense of humor. So please, 
you know, enjoy your sense of humour and take it for what it is. It's a sense of humour. So, but, um, yeah. So that's what's going to be happening um, on the 22nd. So, now I'm going to say this again. Um, Caroline want to be free. Caroline want to be free. Caroline want to be free. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Please don't say. <clears throat> Caroline want to be free. Is in Car is in the Carolinas. Um, she is not in the flooding zone. But she will be getting some of the strong winds. And she has offered up <clears throat> lodging um, for anyone that might need it after the storm. Um, she said she can't. <laughs> I just see her say tinkle time. I'm <laughs> so Caroline. Um, she said she can't offer it right now because if. If the um, you know, if if the storm takes the roof off her house, then obviously she can't. She can't offer any lodgings. But she said, as long as, and this is Caroline want to be free, and this is her. This is her website, in case you know of anybody in the flood zone area that might need help after the storm is over. Um, and please everybody, go check out each other, check out Metal Girl Forever. She is new here, she is a wonderful lady, she has got some good stories to tell, so Please check her out and 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 go <clears throat> go and watch some of her videos and and and, and you know show us some support. Um, keep everybody in your prayers. That's in the line of the hurricane. Um, do the best that you can to help anyone. Margie Yeomans has also offered up space. Um, if anybody needs help, who's in the um, Carolinas, so please let people know. All right, Sherry, that's all right, sweetie. I love you. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, pass, pass, pass. Beautiful. The fish and chips are getting to me. Shari Pashko is a very dear life friend of mine. Um, and if I'm not able to give updates, I'm going to be giving Shari permission to post things on my YouTube. Um, I think I saw somewhere that you could do that. So, she will, if I can't post updates myself, if anything happens, she will be posting updates too. She will be keeping people informed. So, and it's also, if you, at the bottom of my thing, you will see there's a, um, a Facebook page. So, you can always check there, too. Um, yes, Paya. Praying for everybody in the path of the hurricane. Sherry K says her daughter is there now. She is part of the National Guard. Oh, my gosh, Sherry K. Um, my blessings to her, because that's not an easy job to do. Okay, cheers to healing. You take care, honey. And thank you ever so much for coming in. You are so welcome. You put on a smile on my face every time I see your name. 
Bless you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, Sherry Kay, that's an amazing job um, that your daughter has as part of the National Guard. That's just, just amazing. Tonic! Well, I'm not even going to try the rest of that. I'm just going to say tonic! Oops, I smacked myself in the face. I wish I could take these glasses off. They kind of stick off my face a bit too far, but then I can't see anything. And it's hard enough to see as it is, even with these things on. Um, Tonic, thank you for coming in. Everybody, please welcome Tonic. Tonic is new to the channel, new to the live stream. Go check them out. Um, Tonic, you will find that everybody in here has a beautiful soul they're amazing people so some of them like Marjorie Yeomans um doesn't have don't doesn't have oh my gosh don't don't have um don't have um content because they are yes I do my twitter is my twitter is what is my twitter what what's my twitter What's my Twitter? What is my Twitter? Grace says he lost his soul and he can't find it. That's not true, Grace. I know it's not. I know it. Can you just excuse me a minute? Something's calling my name. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so spoiled. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's pie. Chocolate. <laughs> Okay, Twitter, what's my Twitter? Um, I think it's on my About page. Mm -hmm. My channel. Um, let me, let me just move you over. Over a little bit. Okay. My Twitter is on my um is on my about page and it's Junie to Marie. And it has a white and tan Toy Fox Terrier on it, standing in front of a fridge. I love my creative spirit. Hi sweetie, thank you for coming in. It is so good to see you. Oh, I should do this, shouldn't I? Hang, 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 hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on, get it? Okay. Nope. All right. Um. Okay, this is my Twitter. Let me just grab it. That, is that right? Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Mental Girl Forever. Thank you ever so much. Okay. That is my Twitter. If anybody wants, I mean Twitter, if anybody wants it. that That's where I am there. It's actually on my About page and other things. So, um, Sherry Kay's daughter is in the National Guard and she is very proud. Thank you, the story of Dory. That is so sweet. Thank you ever so much, honey. Um, she is so proud. She is proud to of 
to be able to help people. Um, she is a great kid and I was blessed. That is absolutely wonderful, Sherry Kay. It really is. It's absolutely amazing. It, it's wonderful that, that, you know, people can do that. Thank you, Tonic. Thank you ever so much, honey. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll all be keeping her in our prayers. I, yes, Pia, and as Pia says, in, in her, you know, her crew as well. And, and everyone that's down there right now, um, because it, it's not an easy job. I, I know somebody who, um, who, who works with the first responders. And she went on, she's trained in search and rescue, and she went on, um, search and rescue, and it ended up being a a search. I'm sorry, I'm going to cry now. It and it ended up being a um search and recovery. So I'm I'm going to say this. You really, if you're in the flood zone, get out before it starts to flood. Get out. And I, and, I, and I mean it, get out. Don't sit there and wait to see if if it's going to happen. Just get out. Um, go to higher ground. Um, if you end up, if, if it comes in fast and it takes you unawares, and you're in a one-story, if you're in a two-story house and you have to go up, go up to the second story. And hopefully you won't have to go any higher. If you're in a um, if you're in a, a one story house and you have to go up into the attic for God's sakes, take something with you that you can break through the roof and don't worry about that the roof is gonna get destroyed because if your house is flooded that much that you need to go up there to save your life. Then takes, make sure you have something in your attic that you can break through the attic, that you can break through your roof with. And remember, you've got plywood and you've got shingles up there. So you have to make sure you've got something that you can get through there. Because a friend of mine went on search and rescue. She ended up being a search and recovery. She found a mother and two children drowned in an attic. So, please, if you're in the flood zone, leave. And I mean it, leave. It's not safe. You don't know how high it's going to go. It's going to rain for days. You take care, Pyre. I love you. Thank you ever so much, honey. And... Your kitty, your kitten will come along when the time is right. I can tell you that right now. So, so please, you know, if you're in a flood zone, don't wait. Just get out. And, and if you have to go into the attic, make sure that you take something with you that you can actually, you know, break through the roof with. Because if the water is risen enough for you to go in the attic, it could rise higher. Um, don't be a statistic. Um, it took my friend a long time to get over the shock of finding a mother and her two children huddled together. The mom had her arms around the kids and they drowned. Because they had no way out of the attic and the water just kept rising. So, <clears throat> it, um, ex exactly, Sherry Kay, put an axe or a chainsaw up there. Um, a crowbar will also, you know, but you have to make sure it's a big crowbar, not just one of those little crowbars, a big crowbar. 
so that you can actually, because you will be able to see, you know, the, the, um, the, 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 the plywood and you'll be able to see where there's a seam, you'll be able to tear it out and then tear open the, the, um, open, open the roof, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, it, it is, it is very sad, Metal Girl Forever, um, and it's something that's stuck with me, and it's something that's obviously stuck with my friend too, um, it's, Thank you ever so much, Metal Girl Forever. Thank you, sweetie. You're so kind. Ah, oh, Margie. <laughs> you are so sweet, Margie. You are so sweet. Oh. Um, but, yeah, it's, um... Yes, yeah, Cherry K, I would have been too. I wouldn't have been able to. I love my creative spirit. That's okay, honey. No need to apologize, you know. The other things happen besides this. I'm not I'm not that kind of person that's like, you've got to stay and watch me. Nope, you've got to do what you need to do. That's okay, that's fine. Gosh, I wish I could. I wish my nose would stop morphing because then my, my glasses probably wouldn't hurt. Um... But yeah, I, I I would have been I wouldn't have been able to carry on neither, um, Sherry Kay if I'd have seen that. I mean that would have been me done. I, I I'm saying that but probably not. I would go back on, you know, the the you know, a rescue mission if I had to. Commander Vlogs, hi honey, it's so good to see you. Oh my gosh, you missed it. I have to tell you what I got. How are you today? So, <clears throat> TJ Explores. I was talking to her on the phone. And she said to me, what do you miss most about the UK? So I said, mm, fish and chips. I didn't really didn't have to think too long, you know, like fish and chips with salt and vinegar. And I kind of laughed. Anyway, she sent me, she sent me a package, this big, this big package. Oh, wow. Yeah, she sent me this, 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 this big package. So... I went through it and I got some bourbon cream biscuits. Oh, they are so good. You see, this is this is what they look like. They're, they're like this and they've got a chocolate cream filling. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. Mm -mm. They really are so good. So, I got one of those, and I also got, hey, oh, there it is, I thought the cat ate my Mars, and I got two Mars bars, now these are different from the ones in the UK, from, from the ones that we have here in the United States, and I got two bounties, they're the chocolate with the um, coconut on the inside, And I got two Kit Kats. And again, these are different. Every, all the, the chocolate is very different. The chocolate is very different. I got a big bag of Maltesers. Oh. I got two, two packets of Angel Delight. One is chocolate and the other one is strawberry. Oh my gosh. And you know what? If you make these up and then you put them to... Oh gosh. And you swirl it, yep, you get chocolate and strawberry, real good. 
and then jelly tarts and these are not like the um jelly things that we have here in the states they're a bit harder they're actually really good they're really nice they are and then uh, she sent me love hearts Royals! and there's a few of them in here there's a few packets and then of course i had to have the yorkshire tea and this is not the same as the yorkshire tea you get here in the states and this is different it's a lot stronger but the best thing is i saved this for the last the, the best thing is now over in the uk fish and chips are wrapped in, in, in wrapped in potato fish and chips are wrapped in newspaper okay are you ready for this are you ready for this fish and chips are wrapped in newspaper and you usually get um something you put salt and vinegar on it so they're really tasty and they're really good so what do i pull out but a packet of fish and chips that's wrapped in newspaper <laughs> check out command of vlogs and also breaking the shell breaking the shell is actually an introverted type of person and he's literally as the title explains breaking the shell he's actually breaking out of his shell and he's doing such an amazing job so please go and check him out he really is a good guy so yeah yeah fish and chips wrapped in newspaper let me show you them let me show you them so i got and the vinegar they got vinegar on them the vinegar, the vinegar flavor so i got let me show you fish and chips see fish and fish and chips <laughs> fish and chips in a wrapped in Wrapped in newspaper in a bag. <laughs> now this leads me. I have to eat this. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I got so kind. Thank you ever so much for being here, Commander Vlogs. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are, they're really good. Mm -hmm. You take care, Margie. You have a wonderful night. I love you. Yes, and remember, one breath at a time, one step at a time, Margie. I love you. So that's what I got in the big packet. Now, apparently, there's a big box on its way. So we'll see what, um, what comes in the big box. Oh, thank you ever so much, Commander Vlogs. So, this brings me to a story. When I first came over to the United States, who was down in Florida, and I was, oh, probably about 18 and 19, 19 maybe? Um, 18, 19, somewhere around there. Probably 19. So... Or maybe a little bit anyway I can't remember exactly but I went to the store and I was with my friend and my friend said to me do you want some chips well over in the UK we have chips they're um, in between french fries and steak fries the kind of cut in between those so that's what we call chips so i said oh yes please i love some chips so then he hands me this bag and i'm looking at this bag and, and there was no picture on the front it was just a generic you know bag and it said chips on it and it was a yellow bag and i'm looking at this bag and i'm thinking oh my lord greasy chips in a in a in a in a, in a uh, you know a cellophane bag that that are cold 
I think we were taste awful. So I looked at him and I said, well, I, I thought you were going to get chips, chips, hot chips. And he said, oh, and he started to laugh. Well, <clears throat> what you call chips over here, those thin slices of potato that are fried crispy and what have you, what you call chips over here, in the UK we call them crisps. So, yeah. My surprise when I opened up the packet and it was crisps and not chips. Not not chips, chips, as I remember chips. I'll have to I'll have to do a um I'll have to do a video a, a live stream or a video one day of ch the difference between chips and 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 and, and chips and crisps and french fries and um steak fries i'll have i'll have to do you know maybe, maybe that's one thing i should do yes maybe maybe i should do a live stream for that that would be funny wouldn't it that would be a funny live stream to do maybe i'll do a live stream for that sorry this bourbon is sitting here going eat me eat me so i'm gonna eat it thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> sherry k says yes do it Do you know the last time somebody said do it to me? Not mentioning any names, old mucker. <coughs> kind of got me in a in a in a in a, in a muck up, but it was okay because it worked out anyway. So, but um, it took a while to yeah, but yeah. Old mucker's very helpful with um, yeah, fixing. Resetting your laptop, you know, wiping the drive and loading it all and, uh, yeah, he really is. So, Cab 7 has just gone live. If anybody would like to go over there and join him, that is just fine by me. Because I think what I'm going to do now... <coughs> Because the bridge of my nose is really hurting. Can you see where it all it's it digs in my nose? Oh. Sherry Kay says you have to come to Boston and do a live stream from my restaurant and cook with me. Oh my gosh, I would love to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh Sherry Kay. Hmm. Hmm. I will have to see if I can figure something out there. You know, I do have an electric wheelchair. It's a big one that takes those big batteries that look like car batteries. We just can't get it to to hold a charge right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you one thing: if I can get that electric wheelchair to work, I'll be on my way. I'll be stopping off on places to to recharge it. That's for sure. And I'll I'll have one of those big um, big plastic things over to if it in case it rains. Because of course you know me, it'll rain, it'll snow, and it'll go icy and all everything. And then I'll start sweating and and I'll cook underneath the plastic hood, but I'll be able to take it off. Anyway, I'm waffling you. That would be fun. Oh my gosh, I would love. To. Do you know I was not far from Boston. At one point, um, but oh man, now you've got me thinking, Sherry Kay. Oh my gosh, that would that would be absolutely hilarious. <clears throat> Commander Vlog says he's just relaxing with his on his girlfriend's couch. I hope your girlfriend is with you. Hi, Commander Vlog's girlfriend. Oh, that's okay. Don't ever, Tonic, ever, don't ever, please, don't ever apologize, you know, for going and doing whatever you need, is you need to do. That is fine. You just watched a video. Oh, cool. What video did you watch? Whose video did you watch? Um, <clears throat> where was I not far from Boston? Um... 
Okay, let, let me... Um... Oh, heck, if I can remember the name of the place. Um... I can't remember the name of the place. <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember the name of the place. Um... Just over the bridge. Fireman CV. Hi, honey. It's so good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. It is so good to see you. Oh, your girlfriend is, is ready to go. She's saying, let's go, let's go. And so you better, you better go then, Commander Vlogs. Take care. Um, no, not Rhode Island, not New Hampshire, um, over, over, um, Pennsylvania way. Um. Over the bridge, Pennsylvania way. I've been to Charleston, I went, I've been to Charleston. Um. Oh, heck. Commander Vlogs girlfriend. Hello, honey. Thank you. Um Yeah, I've been to I was in I was at Charleston. I had vacation at Charleston and um Oh I'm trying I'm trying to remember uh Connecticut did we go to Connecticut? Did we go to Connecticut? No, I don't think we went to Connecticut. It was when I lived in, um, it was when I lived in Pennsylvania. I lived in, um, just on the suburbs of Philadelphia. So we used to go, you know, we went to New York quite a bit and we went up and down that way. Um, we went to Charleston, we went, where the heck else was it we went? Oh, I hate it when my brain goes, don't. Fireman CV, hello honey, it's so good to see you. Everybody please check out Fireman CV, I know some of you know him. Some of you don't. Fireman CV is a good guy. He is a funny guy. He actually does a show um, with uh, Green Bay Wacky on Fridays. Um, New York and New Jersey. Definitely been to those places, Sherry Kay. Maybe we did go to Rhode Island then. I'll have to look at the map, Sherry. I'll have to look at the map. Yeah, Fireman CV is in Massachusetts. Sorry, I'm eating. Oh! Sherry Kay's in Massachusetts. That is so cool. Mmm. So if I can make it that way, I can kill two birds with one stone. I can go and cook with Sherry Kay in her restaurant's kitchen. And I can go and visit um, Fireman CV and his, his wife. His wife is absolutely adorable. She is wonderful. We're trying to encourage her to do some live streams. <laughs> the story of Dory says, why would anyone willingly come here to New Jersey? So, Fireman CV. You've heard of fish and chips, right? Over the UK, fish and chips is served in a newspaper. We have fish and chip shops there. 
it served in news in a newspaper and um you put salt and vinegar on it and uh, tj explores asked me what i missed the most about the uk and i said fish and chips i was laughing and i said fish and chips with salt and vinegar on it so oh i have to bring down she sent me this huge packet and it had all kinds of goodies in it, all kinds of chocolate goodies in it from the UK. But the best, <laughs> and and some um, and some tea. But the best thing that was in there, and I could not stop laughing, and it still tickles me right now, was this fish and chips with salt and vinegar <laughs> wrapped in newspaper. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. It really is fish and chips. <laughs> and they do have salt and vinegar flavour. Um, it's really good too. You know I won't be eating properly tonight because I'm going to be munching on my my fish and chips and my um oh my goodness that I got so no that's okay you can say wherever you want to say um. They really are good, Tonic. They really are good. They're very tasty. Let me tell you. Very, very tasty. So, um, anyway. Well, they're fish and chips. They are, um, no, it's, it's flour and something. That I can tell you right now. But look, fish and chips. Yes! Sorry. Right. Mmm. They're so tasty. Now, over in the UK, they're kind of, um, <laughs> no, not real fish and chips. <laughs> They're made out of um, flour and um, something. That I do know. Hang on. Yeah, it's kind of doughy. Um, let me see. Um, you can look on the, the fish. Oh. <laughs> they have a Twitter. At Fish and Chips Snacks. Fish and Chips Snack. They have a Twitter. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have to tweet them. Oh my gosh. So it's at Fish. Fish and Chips let me see. Snack. That's their Twitter. They have a Twitter. Oh, I'm going to have to twat them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, do you know what? I can't find the ingredients. It's, and I know that's not a word. I'm just making fun of somebody else. Yeah, wheat flour. Wheat flour, sunflower, palm, rapeseed. Do you think they mean grapeseed? So, yeah. 
Bali Malt Way. Uh, that, yeah, it has all kinds of, all, all the good stuff in it. Dream Walking Angel! Hi, sweetie, it's so good to see you. How are you? Cab 7 is live right now. If anybody wants to go over there, I just got to pop up them. Um, yeah, they are good, Sherry Kay. They are good. Um, Dream Walking Angel, you're not going to believe this. Sherry Kay went and put me up on her, up on the big TV in her restaurant. So everybody in the restaurant was laughing. Oh, good, Dream Walking Angel. I'm glad you're eating finally. Me too. I'm eating fish and chips from the UK. Because I'm <laughs> fish. Well, yeah. I really do like these, I have to admit. These really are good. <laughs> she says, thank you for making you famous. Oh my gosh. So these, these, these really are fish and chips. Okay, Mucka. Mucka keeps telling me it's not UK, it's England. Look, see? Chips. Fish and chips. And they do taste like... Oh, I'm still up on the big screen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. With all this behind me? My room doesn't normally look like this, everybody. Actually, yeah, it does. We're working on getting things organised. We have been for a few years. It'll take a few more years to get it organised. I'm sorry. Sherry K. Metal Girl Forever says there's a big spider. There's a mat. Oh, she didn't say big. She says there's a massive fat spider in her room. What do you mean, massive spider? You know that spider's more afraid of you, Metal Girl Forever, than you are of it. I mean, the poor thing. The cat behind me is. Uh, oh. It's nowhere near the Mars bars. No, no, old dream walking angel, you can't do that. Don't burn it with fire. Oh my gosh. Do you realize that even, even a spider has a heart? Huh? Even a spider has a heart? You don't, no. No, no, ah. Dream walking angel. Oh my gosh, next time I talk to you, you're going to get them. Oh! No, you can't. no, don't do that. Don't kill spiders. Exactly, the heart will be crushed. Oh God, Sherry Kay. I read that without even thinking about what you were saying. Of course it will be crushed. So, Dream Walking Angel, I'm waving to everybody in the restaurant for Dream Walking Angel. Dream Walking Angel is, is a beautiful soul, just like all the rest of the souls in here. They're absolutely wonderful. Yeah, put it outside. What, what you do is you put a glass over it and then you scoop, um, you slide some paper underneath it. She says she grabbed a... Well, if you're afraid of spiders, then why the heck did you... Go, how did you grab it? You're very brave. Metal Girl Forever. Yeah, yes, I'm so proud of you. You're so brave. You're brave. She says she's terrified of spiders, but she grabbed it and she put it outside. Good girl. I bet she's kidding. I bet, I bet she swatted it. <clears throat> Dreamwalking Angel says she's put many spiders outside, but in a panic, 
She'll react and smash. Ooh. Uh, that's not nice. Yep. <laughs> Sherry cases. It's cruelty when they come in the house and bite me. Yep. And she says, just showing them love back. Yeah, with a shoe. <laughs> and there goes the spider. <laughs> you know. It leaves a mess on the wall. You do know that, don't you? And then the carpet too. It is green. My friend Shari is Sarah. It's, it's so funny, my friend. It's, if she was in here now, she would tell you. There was one day she was... There was this spider, and she was she was chasing it with a broom. She was squealing, and she you know those straw, those flat ones, that are kind of like this shaped. She was chasing it. This she was chasing this spider around, and I finally said, I said to her, "What are you doing?" She said, "I'm gonna kill a spider," and I said, "Don't do that." And she said, why? And I said, because it has a heart too. She said, well, what's all that green stuff that comes out? And I said, that green stuff is what would be classed as their blood. You know, it's the blood and guts that come out. Sorry for everybody that's in the restaurant. <laughs> if you're eating, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, didn't mean to, I, did, I didn't mean to get graphic about spiders in us and getting squished. And so anyway, I, I found I stopped her. I told her I said if they have a heart, they have a soul. So that stopped her from squashing it. It really did. So I'm. Um, oh yeah, you are, aren't you, Dream Walking Angel? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. So yeah, yeah. Now brown recluse spiders and black widows. I do squish them um, because they they can be um, they can be you know they are poisonous and and you know they they can cause a lot of damage to a person so I will squish them but I apologize and that's one thing that people have always laughed about me is if I if I if I have to kill. Like when when I when I am a mosquito, I don't understand why there's things why why there's mosquitoes. I mean they've survived since the damn dinosaurs. So and just by sucking somebody's blood, but I you know I, I mean I will squish it and I'll say I'm sorry I'm sorry sorry I can't help it. People laugh at me when I do that. But I, I can't help it. Yeah, Dreamwalking Angel says she's not sensitive. She's a spider killer, remember? <laughs> so, you want me to get a bit more graphic, Dreamwalking Angel, while you're eating? No, I can't, because if, if there's people listening to me in a restaurant that are eating, I mean, I'm sure they don't want me to get graphic anymore about spiders' innards. That when you squish them, they, they squish... All over the place. The Jamin Show. Hi, honey. It is so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping in. It's wonderful to see you. Everybody, please go and say hello to the Jamin Show. You'll enjoy his channel. I can tell you that right now. The Jamin Show, we have some new faces in here. Um, please check them out. Um, they do have different stories to share. And that's one thing that I really like about the community here. Our community is made up of very diverse YouTubers. Um, they, they have so many different stories to tell. They have so many talents to share. And they really do, you know, share... And a lot of them really share a lot about themselves and they share about their hearts too and, and, and their lives and what they're going through. So please check each other out. Say hi. Well, 
don't quite say it like that because that kind of sounds a bit suggestive like maybe it's not too bad but no stop so thank you metal girl forever i try i try i really do try fireman i guess i should go well, I keep I keep getting to the point where I'm about to say I'm going to go and then other people come in. Um, Dreamwalking Angel says, I've worked as a nurse's aide in a hospital. I saw things I can't unsee and then would go on lunch break. Mm. I think I would choose what I was having for lunch for sure very carefully because I, I, don't, I don't know if um yeah i don't know mm. yeah i would definitely choose what i was eating very sure carefully Sherry cases, yup, your face is how I feel about that. Yeah, exactly. Mm hmm. Yeah. A nurse's aid really is not a um, pleasant job. That is for sure. Oh, you are so welcome, Metal Girl Forever. I'm going to try and stream twice a week. And um, what I've decided, because I. As, I need help finish organizing. I get so far and then, because you see we have, a, as you can see in the hallway there, there's things in the hallway there. And there and there's things in other rooms and in the kitchen and it just, ugh. My house used to be organized. Everything had a place. It, I mean, even, even my cupboards in the kitchen, the pantry in the kitchen, all the tins and everything used to be in a row, just like you see them in the grocery store and uh, we had some break-ins so we lost a lot um, and the house ended up a mess um, because they some things they took you know that were in containers some some of the things they took the whole container other things they emptied the container out and then you know, just left the stuff from the container on the floor and walked away with things. Um, you know, it, it just it just goes on and on and on. So, um, you know, and then I got very sick. So, we're now, I'm still very sick, but I'm at least I'm mobile now. I'm up and moving around. I'm not choking to death. Um, which actually are my best videos, by the way. My... Most of you vid viewed videos, um, YouTube keeps sharing them. Stop sharing them, YouTube. Share my new ones, please. Would be nice. People keep telling me. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I got a bit excited there. I hope you didn't get a headache. I got I got over excited and I kind of got um, kind of got lost. <laughs> I knocked you all off. Oh, dear me, Sherry K says she's a master organizer. You know, Sherry K, I used to be. I used to be like that. My house used to be absolutely perfect. It used to be in order. Um, it was easy to do things. Tasks like vacuuming. You, you you know, you didn't have to constantly shift stuff out of the way to vacuum. Um, yep, I just showed you two, but I really did, didn't I? I showed them right on the floor, that's for sure. Sorry, I hope you all don't get seasick or get a headache out of all that. So, yeah, I used to be the master organizer, but um, it was a lot easier when... Each room, when we moved in here, each room was emptied. 
and I knew what was going, well not totally empty, I mean there was some furniture and stuff. I knew what was going to go in each room and where it was going to go. But now there are things in the way, things that need to be, so my thought was that, and I'm also the kind of person that drives my husband crazy with this, and I'm starting to drive myself crazy with this, that I can always see a second or a third use for something. So I won't say I've got a hoarding problem, because I only save a certain amount of so many things, but now it's getting to a point where, where am I going to put these things that I'm saving? Because until they're put somewhere and there's space for me to do things, I can't really, I, I, you know, I, I shouldn't be saving these things. It does take a toll when things get all topsy-turvy, that is so true. It does take over and it's hard to put it all back together and especially when you know I'm having to people don't understand that when your house is broken into Sherry Kay I'm in Kansas and you are more than welcome to come and join us that you really are um, yeah but when your house gets broken into, it, it, it's, it's a lot to get over. Um, and especially, you know, we, we, we dealt with years of it. Um, the neighbours have moved now that, that were doing that. They've all moved away. They're, they've moved from, you know, to, to different towns and different states. So they're not around anymore but I will admit there are times where I hear a noise and I'm like what is that? what is that? what is that? <laughs> what is it? um oh my dog will be barking and barking and barking and barking for no reason whatsoever and then, then it starts getting me to where what the hell is she barking at? what can't I see? what can she see? what can because dogs can smell and hear things that we can't. So, you know, I have to control all that kind of stuff. And I'm learning. Kind of. I, in fact, I, I did sort some, I did sort a cupboard out in the kitchen. And my husband came in and I said to him, take a look in the trash bag. There was a big trash bag sitting on the floor. I said, take a look in the trash bag. And he says, why? I said, just take a look in the trash bag. And he you know, being man like, what well, I need to look in the trash bag for? I said, just take a look in the trash bag. He took it a look in the trash bag and he'd seen that I'd thrown out all, all, all the, the plastic containers that I'd been saving for f later use. And he goes, you're cured. <laughs> he says, you're cured. And I said, well, no, not really. Look, and turn around and look on that shelf. I didn't throw them all out, but I threw most of them out. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, Sherry Kay. It really is hard. The Jamin Show says his dogs are the same way. They'll start barking all of a sudden. Yep. They can smell and hear things that we can't. And they can also see things that we can't, you know. I mean, we can look out back and we'll not see anything out of the ordinary, but... My dog is really OCD. If you put a cup on the floor, she starts barking at it. I'm sorry, dog. I'll put a cup on the floor. I'll pick it up. So, yeah, she, she will. You put something on her dog shelf that shouldn't be there. Or if, if you move something, if there's something on my bed that shouldn't be there, she'll start barking at it. She, she, you know, she gets upset. She gets mad about it. So... But, uh, yeah, you know, we, we have, um, <laughs> Sherry Cases have more security now. It would light up a football stadium. That's good to have. That really is. So, 
Yeah, we, we have better security too. The Jamin Show says I had a husky that hated blue jays. <laughs> I'm not surprised. And she would go out of her way to nip at them. Oh, I'm not surprised, the Jamin. Those blue jays can create such a noise. It is just unbelievable. You know, they steal other birds' eggs too. It's, um, they, 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 can, they can be pretty naughty. They really can. They can be pretty naughty. So, anyway. 11 people watching. Hello, 11 people. Thank you for watching. It's so good to see you. I'm really, I'm really honoured. And I, I've really enjoyed this afternoon. So, oh. I was going to say I've yet to finish. Um, so my thought was that if I go live twice a week and then maybe we could all decide what I should keep, what I should throw away, what I should hide. No, no, no. I was going to say what I should hide from my husband. No, nope. nope. What I should keep, what I should throw away, and what I should donate. So, and I, and 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 then also where 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 I should put things. You know, I thought if we could do it that way, then because sometimes it's easier to do things with other people's help. And I don't know people hereabouts. So, and my husband and I, we both have two different ideas of, of, of putting things away. I'm very OCD, especially like with the baby. Here he is. Hi, honey. Go to the store. You're going to the store. Come ah. with you. You, you want ah. to say hello to the people? Ah. Hello, people. He says hello, people. Hello. Ah. All right, honey. Is there something you need? Come on. Come on. Go on, go with Puppy. Go on, hurry up. He'll take you. Go on. Hurry up. Good girl. Yeah, so. Less trash in the house, the better your health is going to get. Get rid of it all, she said. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that will be the best thing to do, most likely. Yep, yep. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I smacked myself in the eyes with my glasses. My glasses. <laughs> oh, dear me. My glasses are the kind of, that you can kind of like twiddle around like this, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter which way. Uh, you can do it this way and you can, you can turn these around upside down or you can turn them this way. <laughs> Every once in a while I flip them and they, they flip to my eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness me! So... Um, but yeah, you're right, you're right, Sherry Kay, my health will be better, my health is more important than I can, I can, um, I can do this with this, because, I mean, there's always going to be a time where, you know, we can, where, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you you've got a point there. You have a point there. Um, because I'm even looking at some of the the books. Um, I still have some of my books that I I I reference to a lot. I still have some of those left. Um, most of them have gone. I used to have enough book for a, books for a library, but there are books that we have. That I really am looking at them going, hmm? why do we have that book? So, 
Exactly. Yeah, you have a point there. See, this this is the conversation too, Sherry Kay, that I had with TJ. You know, she said to me, she says, there might have been a time where, because, you know, I've always done that. It's like if something breaks, I take it apart and I use whatever I can from it. The screws, you know, go in a, its own compa in a compartment. Uh, you know, if there's ball, if there's nuts or washers, they go in the right compartment. Well, all that stuff, all the little compartments, all the little drawer thingies, all the, those storage things, they've all gone they are they all grew legs and walked off so all right dreamwalking angel that's okay don't please don't say sorry please don't say sorry it's okay i hope you get it working better so yeah you're right and and, and tj said to me i have to retrain my brain Brain exercises. Hmm. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. My mind's kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, the Jamin Show. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. Everybody, please make sure you check out the Jamin Show. You'll be interested in the videos that they have, they really are fun. Thank you for stopping by the Jamin Show. Bye. So, when are they hoping for my... Oh, gosh, Sherry Kay. So, the reason why I'm going to be doing the walk, um, and I'll be doing other things too as time goes on, to prove that I am doing all that I can do to keep myself healthy and that I am, you know, I am not because I am not, I'm not the kind of person to just lay down and say, I said I'm done. You know, I keep pushing forward. Um, I have to start the process all over again, Sherry Kay. Um, new referrals will be going out in about two months, two and a half months to three months time. Um, I was starting, I did start the process with, um, and I forgot the name of the darn hospital, hospital, a hospital in Texas. And Valerie, and I'm so glad you enjoyed your supper, honey. Um, so I, um. Oh gosh, I started the process with a transplant center in Texas. Um, at the time when I saw him, I was not doing very well. My heart rate, just my resting heart rate was 105 to 110. If I got up and started walking, it went obviously poof, up higher. Um, I was literally, even on oxygen, gasping for breath. Um, I had a, a complete pulmonary test done and it didn't come back too good. Um, so when I went to see the transplant surgeon um, who would be taking on my case, who hopefully was going to take on my case, um, he asked me all kinds of questions and my husband and I not really knowing what to expect. First of all, this guy walks into the room with looking down at the floor and the first thing he says to me is, a transplant is not a cure you're exchanging one illness for another illness. And you've got five years after the transplant, which I know is not true because I'm in touch with people through a, a, a special um, support group that are 15 years, 10 years, 20 years, 
25 years now I know you know some people there are the odd few that are not so lucky to last that long um, and he wanted to know why I wasn't going to pulmonary rehab well there's nothing to rehab in my lungs yes thank you Sherry Kay Sherry Kay says her aunt had a double lung transplant and it's been 30 years yep um, so I, I told him that I was having tests done on my heart and I was waiting for the results to come back and then I was going to go start you know with the at the pulmonary rehab center there's nothing to rehab all they they want you to do is spend fifty dollars a week no fifty dollars a month going to a rehab just to exercise on two machines well you know what i have a gazelle here i can do that myself but i had to do it just to show that I am determined to look at, you know, do what I need to do to help myself. I thought my dog was up on my bed. I still have everything. Um, and his answer to me when I told him I was having some tests done on my heart, and I was waiting until the results came back, he said, go to the rehab anyway if anything happens you're in the right place well I, I, don't, I don't want to add an, an, an a heart attack to my list of problems no I didn't but he also didn't consider the fact that the pulmonary rehabilitation center wouldn't take me on anyway until my heart rate was below 90 sitting heart rate that is hello so it's it's like ugh. anyway yeah a lot of it is all about the business a lot of it is all about the business exactly having a dream walking angel exactly having it here at home means i do get more exercise than i would do you know having to go to to a, a pulmonary rehab a pulmonary well that's wasn't a pulmonary rehab. it was a heart and it, they, they were they were more into patients that had, had heart attacks well i hadn't had a heart attack and there really was no i have nothing left to rehabilitate exercising is not going to you know make my lungs any better um it does make my breathing better because it helps with my heart rate and my heart working properly um it turns out i have pulmonary hypertension so it wasn't because i wasn't exercising it wasn't because i wasn't doing the right thing that my heart rate was was going crazy like it was and my blood pressure was up it was because i have pulmonary hypertension so now that the medication that i've been on <laughs> oh that's a whole nother story but they raised the amount of medication that i'm taking which has brought the pressure down in my in my lungs it's brought the pressure down in my heart and it's brought my heart rate down so you know i'm doing so much better exactly sherry k a lot of the medications that i take raise my heart rate and blood pressure so it's it's you know swings and roundabouts you have to balance them both um there's a i i can only do nebulizer medications i can't do inhalers because I don't have enough for it to, it, it, it goes into my mouth, even using a spacer. I don't have enough pull when I, in, for it to go down into my lungs. It doesn't even go there. 
Um, and there's a special thing. It's like a, a little gauge and that you it has a straw on you on the straw. I did that. I had a doctor do that five times and each time he looked at it and he says, are you huffing? Because that's what it is. It's you huff, you know, you in. He said, and I said, yeah, I am. And he'd do it again. Are you sure you do it? Yeah, I am. Well, do it again. Are you sure you do it? Yeah, I am. Well, yeah, do it. Yeah, you sure? And the needle, the, by the fifth time, I really took such a deep breath. And I, in, you know, I let out and then I, in. And I managed to bring, bring it in. And just tip that needle just enough that he said, here's an inhaler, try that. Well, if I'm having trouble breathing, how am I supposed to in on this damn inhaler? Yes, the inhalers can make a person cough uncontrollably. Yes, they can. So I'm, you know, just use nebulizer medications and that's all I've ever used is nebulizer medications. And there's one of the nebulizer medications that I use because um, I have to use two in tandem. It's a duo neb. Um, so one helps with asthma and the other one helps with the COPD side of it. So it's, but I only use half of one of the medications because that really sets my heart going. So, but anyway. I also had to come off the morphine because I was on 90 milligrams of morphine for pain. Um, I weaned myself off it because the pain clinic that I was with, yes, yes, one acting, one long acting and one short acting, yep. And I also have a, a rescue um, nebulizer medication too. Um, I have a portable nebulizer, which I actually need to get batteries for that. Um, but um, I also then found out that I had to come off the morphine and I, I weaned myself off the morphine because the pain clinic that I was with was messing around and reducing down the morphine. Um, June last year, June is not my, it, it's my name, but it's not my month. You know, I, I always, around June, I always end up very ill. Um, of course, it's a seasonal thing, obviously. Um, June last year, I ended up in the hospital again in the ICU, but this time I ended up on a a uh, non-invasive respirator. Um, yeah, well, you know, Sherry Kay, I had been on um, narcotic painkillers for oh, over 25 years. And the same dose, too, over, over 25 years. And the way I managed that was I would reduce the dose every so often um, so that I wasn't getting desensitized, I wasn't, you know, getting um, used to the dosage that I was on. Because um, there was always a concern that if I needed surgery, you know, of, of and, and that's also why I've had to come off the morphine because the surgery is a lot more painful apparently than um, heart, open heart surgery. So, um, no, it wasn't hard for me to come off them. What has been hard is the pain. You know, it's the pain that's that's been hard to deal with. I'm I'm not being able to do anything. Oh, TJ explores. That's okay. That's all right. 
I do the same thing. I fall asleep. Now, don't realize that I'm falling asleep. I just go end up asleep. So I get it. All right. Sweet dream, TJ Explores. Thank you ever so much for my wonderful care package. You know I'm going to enjoy it very much. Thank you for my fish and chips and salt and vinegar. I, I, I love you and I, I see you. I see you both. Thank you so much, honey. Um, am I feeling better being off them? To be honest with you, Sherry Kay, I can't tell the difference. There's no difference. The only difference is I'm in more pain. You know, um, I'm not doing as much as I was able to do while I was on the morphine because, you know, it hurts. Um, there's a lot of pain. Um, yeah, they do say pain meds, but you see, there's a, there's a fine balance. Hell, kitten, hi, sweetie. It's so good to see you. Mwah! Thank you for stopping in. It's so good to see you, honey. Thank you so much. TJ Explores, you have a sweet dreams, and I shall talk to you tomorrow. Everybody, please keep TJ. Um, in your prayers and in your thoughts. Um, morphine has been used to actually aid with respiratory, you know, the inspiration with respiratory drive. Now, that being said, there's a fine line. You can't give... If, if you give too much, then it slows down and it suppresses the respiratory drive. There is only a certain amount that can be taken um, that helps it because there's a lot of pain, you know, around the diaphragm. There's a lot of pain, you know, in the back, you know, in the lungs, in the lung, you know, the... But that's not the only pain that I suffer with. I have severe spine problems. Um, you know, I, I have other areas where I have a lot of pain. And the morphine was the only thing that helped with that. So, yeah, I have more pain. My breathing has not gotten any better. Um... So I, uh, I hate to say this, but I don't hate to say this. If I keep getting turned down and keep getting denied and nobody will take me on as a transplant patient, then I'm going back on the morphine, you know? i am got to live my, continue living my life as best I can, but I'm going to live it without pain. Thank you very much. Um, but anyway, the continue. Last year, I ended up in the hospital, in the ICU. Um, this time, I ended up on a portable respirator. Came home with a portable respirator. Um, no, ventilator, respirator, ventilator. And that's the one that you often see me walking around the stores with. Um, it's the trilogy, uh, and, um, the hospital, because my pulmonologist is an hour away, the hospital I go to is here in town, and we thought it would be a good idea to bring the local hospital pulmonologist on board with the, with my case. So she would know what was happening every time I went there. Um, and she called and had a conference with the transplant doctor in Texas. And a day before we were due to leave, 
to go back for my second appointment with him, I got a phone call telling me that he was denying me. So, and one thing was I had to finish coming off the morphine. I wasn't doing enough to take care of myself. Yada, yada. And he just, he just, and I said to him, well, do you realize even though I have a portable ventilator here at home, I'm a lot more active than when I first saw you because I have actually been diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension and I now have the correct treatment. So I'm able to, to get up and move around. And yes, I am coming down off the morphine, but unfortunately, you know, I'm having problems with the pain clinic that I'm... I even asked that doctor, I even asked the, the, the transplant doctor, what can I take? What am I allowed to take, you know, for pain? And he said, don't ask me. He said, sort that out with your pain clinic. Really? Really? You're going to tell me I have to come off this stuff, but you're not going to give me a list of options? So, I've had several injections in my neck. Um... I need one in my thoracic spine. I'm going to have to go back for more injections in my neck. Um, so, have I contacted Mass General? They're one of the best hospitals in the world. Um, no, I haven't. Um, my doctor, my pulmonologist would have to send them a referral. And, um, see, we're hoping that there's a, um, there's Barnes Jewish Hospital in Missouri that they were the first ones to do a double lung transplant. So, yeah, yeah, Sherry Kay says her aunt had denials from four doctors from South Carolina down to New York and she went to Mass General and she had, had it within two months, within two months she had her transplant, yeah. It's, yeah, I figured you would meant New York, honey. Um, there's a hospital, there's a transplant, um, a, a, a excellent one over the bridge in Missouri. Um, you have to live within a certain distance, driving distance, um, to the transplant hospital. Um, If, if the hospital in Missouri denies me and we have to go further out of state, then, you know, we're having to, we're going to have to look for um, somewhere to stay. Um, and they would like you to be near the transplant hospital for six months prior and six months to a year after the transplant so that's why my goal for my fundraiser is all so high so <laughs> it's sherry cases well gee stay at my house <laughs> yeah yeah you see we can't sell we can't we can't sell this house because we were caught up, we got caught, when we bought this house, we were caught in that mortgage scam that was going on. Um, luckily, we managed to get out of the balloon mortgage um, and we had to keep doing the remortgage and the remortgage and the remortgage to work our way out of it but unfortunately in doing that the 
prices, the value in homes in this area went down at the time. And the assessment we've had several times since then, it's not really gone up much. So we would still ending up, end up owing the bank money if we sold that. So it just wouldn't make sense. Um, I do know a family that has been, oh gosh, a staple in this town for a long time and they own rentals and uh, he, he lives next door, really nice guy, really nice guy. So, you know, I'm looking at that he would help find us people to rent a house for a year. You know, so we would have renters in the house for a year. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. But keep, keep your fingers crossed that, you know, St. Louis, sorry, St. Louis, Missouri will take me on. So, and this is why I have to do everything now that I could possibly do to show that I really care and that I really do want to stay alive and that I'm doing everything that I can do to, you know, look after myself and keep myself going. And one of those things is going to be my teeth. Yeah, my teeth are not, not too pretty. The medications that I have to take and uh, for my, you know my nebulizer treatments and my um, you know other medications, anti-inflammatories. Let's put it that way. That I have to take periodically. Have I certainly will keep it in mind, Sherry Kay. I certainly will, and you bet your bottom dollar I'll be looking that hospital up. I will look it up. That is, I will something that I will do. So, um, and I'll let my husband know that we have somewhere to stay. <laughs> we, we have two cats. Well, the, uh, the old lady cat, she'll probably, well, and she's, yeah, she's 18 years old. She's old. So, anyway, I'm going to say good night. I'm going to watch. I'm going to say good evening, good night, good morning, and good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, Cab Seven is live right now. I think he's still live. Um, so I'll most likely see you over there. I'm going to get a cup of tea. British tea, real British tea. Um. And I'm going to have some of my snacks. Thank you ever so much, Sherry Kay, for, for being here and, and, you know, for chatting with me and letting me know about the Mass General. I shall certainly look into that. And um, hopefully one day that we will get to... Um, get to do some cooking together i love you too i'll talk to you later dream walking angel remember one step at a time one breath at a time we i can do this keep saying that to yourself and we certainly will get there remember when you look somebody in the eye make sure you can say i see you because one day that person that you're looking at just might be you and you won't like it. I love you all. Take care. Bye bye. We will meet soon. That is so for sure. Miss Sherry Kay. I have a feeling we will. Bye everybody. Bye Sherry Kay's place. Oh I shouldn't do that. Look at it. It's wobbling under. I've got things wobbling all over the place. Bye. <laughs>